Hi guys, it's Joel here from Zagami's and I'm here to show you how to create simple, healthy and affordable meals that you can prepare for the whole family. Hey guys, welcome to Zagami's at home. I'm Joel, the new chef, in our brand new kitchen. Today I'm going to show you three different techniques of pickling, so let's get started. So to start, guys, I've got the pickling liquid and it's just got a handful of peppercorns, some bay leaves and a half lemon. And we're gonna grab Oscar the octopus over here. He's about two kilos. I got him from the fishmonger. All you need to do is just ask him to take the beak off, take off the head, just get him clean so he's ready for you to go. And then what I want you to do is just slowly put him in the pickling liquid that you've got, bring him up to a medium heat maybe for an hour and a half and I'll come and check on him. All right guys, so we're gonna start our marinade now. We've got some fresh thyme, half chilies, some unpeeled garlic, just crushed up a little bit, some uh, lemon rind, some orange rind, some black peppercorns, red wine vinegar, and we've got our cooked octopus. So just to check if this is cooked, guys, you just want a nice opaque colour, shouldn't be translucent at all inside. After a couple of hours cooking, it should be fine. We're going to jar up our octopus now. So we're just going to layer it up, grab some thyme, just smush it between your fingers a little bit. Some chilli, grab a few octopus, don't be too squeamish. All these different layers are good guys, just keep adding them in. Okay guys, now we've got our marinated octopus. Ideally you want to marinate this for a couple of weeks, just leave it in the fridge. Now we're going to start with our pickled red onion. This one's super easy. This is our pickled red onion. All we want to do is just have some shaved red onion, not too fine, otherwise it's not going to marinate properly. Not too thick, you don't want that bite of onion. All we're going to do is we're just going to add in our rice wine vinegar. This is two parts rice wine vinegar, one part caster sugar, so I've got 125 grams of caster sugar there. Just a handful of chili flakes. If you want more chili flakes, you can add it in. Just depends on how hot you want it. Same amount of oregano. We're just gonna give that a whisk. And what's gonna happen here is this is a cold pickle, so it's just gonna dissolve naturally in the bowl. Um, you will see a change of color in this as well. So once we do transfer it to our pickled red onion, it's going to leach that colour. So you just kind of want to top it up in your jars, like so, perfect. Ideally, this one here, you want to leave it overnight, but if you need to, you can use it straight away. Just give it a shake, leave it in the fridge for a couple of minutes, good to go. Now for this pickle, we've got our red cabbage, slightly thicker than the red onion, and our pickle this time is hot, so it's just been boiling away. All we've done is substituted the sugar in our last video for our salt and added in some of our uh, chili flakes and our oregano. Now all we're gonna do is just top this pickle up. Try not to do it too fast. And that's pretty much it. We've got three different pickles, three different techniques, all ready to eat with your family. Enjoy. For more information on this video, visit our website. And for the full recipe, see our comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Everybody loves, everybody loves.